Welcome, dear listeners, to Farmer's Parade. In this program, we document some of the marvelous discoveries and achievements of smallholder farmers in Africa. Today, as usual, you're with me, Patricia Sundu, your presenter. Do you know that farmers are good researchers? Imagine how useful it can be to you to discover a thing on your own, on your farm. Why don't you start researching one of the issues you hear on the radio? The Story Workshop, a non-governmental media organization in Malawi, in its European Union-funded project from 2002 to 2006, worked in six villages, which were called Radio Research Gardens. Each village chose one research issue to verify what they heard on the radio in a program called Manali Renji, Why Should a Child Cry in a Food Secure Family? This research was broadcast once every month. Today, we'll hear some of the findings from one of these radio research gardens. Stay tuned to hear all about the magic of manure. For rains to stop when crops like maize still need rain, is not a rare scenario these days. Nsanjama village, one of the radio research gardens, discovered some wonderful magic to solve this dry spell problem. Nsanjama village is located on the western side of Mulanja district in traditional authority Juma. Like many villages in Malawi, many villagers are poor. Very few farmers can afford a bag of expensive inorganic fertilizer. To make matters worse, Nsanjama lies in the rain shadow of Mulanja Mountain. This is the highest mountain in Malawi and the third highest in Africa. Often the rains stop early, just when the maize is developing cobs, but not yet mature. As if that is not enough, their soils are sandy and lose moisture quickly. But a light appeared at the end of the tunnel when the villagers heard on the radio about a magic substance called manure. A fellow farmer was giving a testimony on how much he yields using only manure. The villagers did not hesitate to start their research comparing manure to inorganic fertilizer. But in the first year of research, manure could not beat fertilizer in yield. It was a flop. What went wrong? Do you think manure can beat inorganic fertilizer in the way it helps crops? Mr. Chairman. Yes, Chief. It is clear that manure is a useless burden to us farmers. Give me back the plot I rented to you to conduct your research. I want to use it for other purposes. Uh, but, Chief, Chief, wait a minute. Wait, wait for what, Mr. Chairman? Isn't the difficulty we have gone through enough, Mr. Chairman? Mrs. Jumbe. Yes. You wanted to comment. Huh? What do you want to say? Yes, uh, you know what, Chief? Mrs. Jumbe, wait. <clears throat> Chief, please, give me the benefit of doubt. Let us try manure once more. I mean, we need solutions that can help us to cope with the changing climate, which dries our crops and hurts our soil. Mr. Jumbe, why are you supporting the village headman's idea of stopping the research? Aren't you the one who came up with this idea? Of course I'm the one, but I, uh, I, I don't know. I, I really think I was blinded by the sweet talk of that farm on the radio. Manure is very deceiving. At first, we had a very healthy crop, but later it lost energy. But remember how inorganic fertilizer did. After we used the second application, it was fine to harvest in time. Yes, Mrs. Jumbe, you are right. At first, manure was indeed deceptive, as if it would work. But unfortunately, it gave up on the way. Uh, Chief, why don't you listen to me first? We applied fertilizer twice, right? Yes. 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 Why can't we also apply manure twice to level the playing field? Uh, Mr. Chairman, what did you just say? Remember, we applied fertilizer twice for maize to do well. Can't we try to apply manure twice too? Well, I think Mr. Chairman has a good idea. Yes. 
Because there was indeed a very good crop with manure before it started losing energy. Yes. Why can't we try applying manure twice? The same way we applied fertilizer. Well, uh, if you, Mr. and Mrs. Jumbe, think it's a good idea to try and uh, apply manure twice, then I will not take my garden away for this season. Just make sure it will not fail this time. They agreed to apply manure twice during the next growing season. They made enough compost manure for two applications, like just as they do with fertilizer. They divided their land into two plots, the fertilizer side and the manure side. They applied manure and fertilizer for the second time on the same day. People could hardly tell which side had manure and which one had fertilizer. Then the unthinkable happened. When the maize had just produced tassels and was developing cobs, the rains stopped. The fertilizer side started showing moisture deficiency. It withered and then died. What happened to the manure side? Stay tuned. Um, okay, come closer. <clears throat> Let's now compare manure and fertilizer by counting the number of pairs of shelled maize. Come, 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 come. Okay. One. Two. Okay, it's five, yeah? Yeah. Now let's count from the area on which we applied manure. Okay, all right. Mr. Jumbe, my husband. Yes, yes. Look how far and good looking.